Even if you don't know the difference between Mark Spector, Jake Lockley, or Mr. Knight, don't worry because you can still start reading Moon Knight, and I've got the 10 best books for beginners. Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog and we're back with another video. Now it's a loose tradition when we where to start series that I start by recommending the book that I first read for that character. And with Moon Knight, I started with the run that was written by Charlie Houston and illustrated by David Finch. I had absolutely no clue who Moon Knight was, there wasn't like a handy video that was called Who is Moon Knight that existed at that time. And this was an amazing introduction to this character because of the fact that Moon Knight hadn't had a solo series for a couple of years before that. However, this was dark, gritty, really violent and it had a great fight between Moon Knight and Bushman. And as well, if you do want a bit of a longer run so that you don't just have to deal with a four issue mini series and not be able to continue from there, then this would be the one for you because it did go on for a number of years. So if you do want a longer introduction to this character, then this would be the one that I'd definitely recommend for you because it's what got me invested into this character as well. As well, I might be biased because of how young I was when I read this, but I do also think that this is some of the best art that you will ever see in a Moon Knight book. The fights are amazing and I really like the way that Dave David Finch just draws Moon Knight's cape. As well, this run is getting an omnibus later this year, and if you want to pick that up, I definitely recommend getting it from the channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. They've got great packaging, fast shipping, and amazing customer services, and if you use code WOOFWOOF, woof, you'll get $2 off your order. And if you're ordering three or more books and you want them to be delivered together, make sure you use code WOOFWOOF, woof, ship it together for 5% off your entire order. Don't worry, you can just copy and paste them from the description down below, and you can use these codes as many times as you like. Now, the next one that I'm going to recommend recommend is by Warren Ellis and later Brian Wood. This was another relaunch for the character so again it was taken into consideration that a lot of people might have been jumping on at that issue one. But this is the Moon Knight series that I'd recommend for people that maybe want less fighting but more of a detective style comic. And as well yes there already are a lot of parallels between Batman and Moon Knight but it doesn't mean that this story isn't still enjoyable. I really like this run and I feel like it has been forgotten a little bit in recent years. But this is more of a psychedelic, mystical and also mystery based story. There are a lot of great stories within this run and it didn't really get bogged down with anything that was happening in the wider Marvel universe. But one of the most popular personalities that Moon Knight has is that of Mr. Knight and he became famous because of this run. I really liked in particular that bit where he was investigating that weird experiment where people were going crazy through some kind of sleep thing that they were doing. So it might be the case that you want to get into Moon Knight just so that you can get into Marvel comics in general. Well firstly I have made a video where I've talked about the characters that would probably introduce you best. And secondly I do think the run that was started by Warren Ellis would be a great entry point into this character. But maybe you don't want a longer run, maybe you do want something that's short and sweet and will just get to the point. This one might be a little bit difficult to get and I only read it when I was first getting into the character, but I've got the four issue mini series Moon Knight High Strangers. And High Strangers came out I believe either in the late 90s or the early 2000s, but if you like the sound of a more sci-fi conspiracy based Moon Knight title then I definitely think this would be the one for you. It's him investing in a conspiracy theory that then unravels and it's all about aliens and mind control and for a character like Moon Knight that does have the different personalities going on within his head this is an interesting story premise for him to be in. It is a little bit difficult to get I remember in the early days I had to read it online on a dodgy website that I'm not too proud to say that I used to visit but I do still have fond memories of this mini series and when I was younger it did help to build my knowledge of this character. Next up and you've probably already seen it over my shoulder but we've got Moon Knight by Jeff Lemire. Now this one's so good that it's the reason why a lot of people have forgot that Warren Ellis wrote the title. This was a series that was launched after that and it just completely eclipsed everything that came before it. Yeah, no pun intended. So it's more about a mob, mafia level kind of street crime, but at the same time you've got this absolutely fantastic overarching plot that's going on in some kind of psychiatric hospital. When I read this, it really reminded me of that game, The Evil Within, and I think it very much carries that same tone. It makes you question what's happening the entire time throughout it. It's more in line with a thriller type storyline, which is something that you don't often get to experience in superhero comics. It's still got all that great Moon Knight action, you see people trying to fight him, but of course, like Leanne Rimes used to say, you can't fight the Moon Knight. Yeah, I hate myself. And this recently got reprinted as a complete collection, so he is easily accessible. So at the same time that you're getting a fresh take on him, you can also catch up with what you've missed out on before. Obviously, yes, it's not going to explore everything, but for a story that tries to combine the past and the present, this is probably the go-to one. Next up, and when I do me where to start, so I try to incorporate as many different options as possible, and you might want to get introduced into Moon Knight when you see him as part of a team. In which 
which case I would definitely recommend Ed Brubaker's Secret Avengers. I feel like Brubaker understood that people who were reading his Secret Avengers may not necessarily have read a Moon Knight title before, so it's great because you're introduced to this character alongside other characters that you already know like Captain America. And the way he operates in a team because of the fact that he isn't always in the same mindset that he was 10 minutes ago means that you're introduced into this really interesting dynamic and you're not just following a lone wolf the entire time. It still respects his origins and who he is as a character, but it doesn't necessarily need you to understand who Moon Knight is. And team books are a great way to get introduced into different members of a comic universe, but for something quite recent and as often telling espionage and heist type stories, I think it'd be a great way to get introduced into Moon Knight if you started with the Secret Avengers. But maybe you do want a team based book with Moon Knight, but you do want it to be more street level. Then it might take a bit of digging to find this in a collected edition, but I would definitely recommend the Marvel Knights series. And no, you're not in luck, this book that's called Marvel Knights Omnibus does not collect Marvel Knights, but it was based in the same era and it's because of the fact that I was devouring every Daredevil book that I could find that I ended up branching into this series. It was a really interesting introduction for Moon Knight because he wasn't there from the beginning, it was only around issue 4 or 5 that he actually appeared, but this is the type of team that he'd work well within because of the fact that you've got other characters like Daredevil, The Punisher, and I'll be honest with you, it's been well over 10 years since I've read this so I can't really remember the details of it, but I do remember enjoying it whilst I was reading it, so that's why I'm putting it on this list. But even earlier than that, I was introduced to Moon Knight for the Ultimate Spider-Man run. Now, is this gonna tell you everything that you need to know about the character? Absolutely not. But at the same time, I'm just trying to give you introductory points into Moon Knight so that you can hopefully branch out even further. And if it is that you picked up the Ultimate Spider-Man Omnibus, a book that I recently did a video about, then why not skip ahead to this part of the run where you know about this character and you know about the world it inhabits and see what Moon Knight like in that. He doesn't feature heavily, but he features enough that you can hopefully get a grasp on who he is. And it might feel like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel with this one, but by reading this, I then knew enough about the character when I read him in other titles. Or you might want something even shorter than that, and I think Marvel had you covered with a book that was just called Moon Knight Saga. This was something that my comic shop gave me for free, and it literally tells you everything that you need to know about Moon Knight. It's one issue long, you can probably find it somewhere online if it was free to begin with, and you didn't really get much of a story with it, but if you wanted to jump into any of these other runs and you just wanted some background knowledge of the character, then maybe hunt this down because it's pretty much a previously on Moon Knight. Next up, and Moon Knight's got a current run that's going on that's been written by Jed McKay. I've read the first couple of issues of this and I think for a beginner, it would be a good introduction. I don't know if this series is going to be good in the long run, but if it is that you've found these issues of Moon Knight in your local comic shop and you're wondering if you can pick them up, then from the first couple of issues that I have read, I do think that this would be a good introduction and I do also really like the art style style in this. And you never know, it might be the case that this goes on to be one of the great Moon Knight runs that spans for years, and you can get in on the ground floor. Another title, if maybe you did want some kind of Marvel event that also just happens to feature Moon Knight, well I would recommend to you Doctor Strange Damnation. Moon Knight features in this as part of the Midnight Suns, and it's all based in the mystical elements of the Marvel Universe, which kind of feels self-explanatory with it being Doctor Strange. But it isn't completely unfair of me to say that Doctor Strange is a more popular character than Moon Knight at the moment, so you might know a lot about the Sorcerer Supreme and why not use that as an advantage so that you can then branch into Moon Knight. The reason I started reading The Punisher is because I saw him featuring in Daredevil titles. And if The Punisher is another character that you're looking to start reading, you can watch this video down here. But Doctor Strange Damnation was this really fun sort of mini event that was written by Donny Cates. And yeah, Moon Knight isn't going to be the main character, but if you just want a good story that spans across a couple of characters, one of which being Moon Knight so that you can then hopefully branch off into his other series, then I'd definitely recommend Doctor Strange Damnation because it isn't too long and I'm definitely not going to recommend something like Shadowland. There'd be way too much explaining for me to help you understand where we're at with that book. Now when I do me where to start I try to not recommend books from like the Silver Age or the 60s or the 70s because I just don't think it's going to be very accessible to a modern reader. Yeah sure there might be a few people who enjoy that style but with Moon Knight he didn't really start to gain any kind of momentum until the 80s. In which case I would recommend a lot of his earlier runs that have recently been collected in Omnibus. There is a bit of a feeling out process and it wasn't really until about the second or third volume that they kind of understood who Moon Knight was because at first he was introduced as this villain mercenary and then they had to retcon that so that he could actually be a hero and there was a bit of time where he was pretty much just the wish version of Batman but as the years went on and especially as Doug Monch kind of figured out who the character was and yeah again I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly you do begin to see how Moon Knight became the character that he is today and as well those early issues aren't like a lot of other early 80s comics they are still dark and gritty and grounded and I think 
think it'd give you a different experience than what you'd imagine if you think about the origin story of a character. You also get to see where all those mystical elements come from and they begin to build the character's foundation. So you can pick up some of the very early series of Moon Knight and still get a pretty good grasp of who the character is today. Now I'm going to have to throw a bit of a curveball that comes with a disclaimer before I even say what it is. Because I know a lot of die-hard Moon Knight fans do not like this run. But this video isn't for die-hard Moon Knight fans. And I want to try and give as many different options as possible for somebody who wants to start reading this character and hopefully enjoy it. So if you're the type of person who can't even fathom that I might be recommending this and you're already throffing at the mouth with anger, then turn off your computer, turn off your phone, go outside, get some fresh air, meditate, maybe have a wank in the bath, we've all done it, and just calm down because I'm going to recommend Moon Knight by Brian Michael Bendis. Is this the most accurate representation of this character? No. But does it tell you a story with Moon Knight and Mark Spector? Yes, it does. And it's not as disconnected from other Moon Knight runs as people think it is. This is just a 12 issue story about Moon Knight trying to prevent crime in LA. It's trying to be as far apart from every other Moon Knight run as it can be. And it's because of the fact that he knew that not a lot of people knew who Moon Knight was. So yes, his split personality disorder is changed so that he now sees the forms of Spider-Man, Wolverine and Captain America. And I think that gives a really interesting dynamic to somebody who's maybe never read a Moon Knight book before, maybe you've never even heard of Moon Knight before, but you know who the other members of the Marvel Universe are and you want to see how Moon Knight applies himself through those characters. So if you know a bit about the wider Marvel Universe or maybe you've read Bendis and Maleev's take on Daredevil, I think maybe you should pick this up because it's been reprinted in a complete collection and give it a chance for yourself. Yes, if you enjoy this book you will have people biting your head off because of the fact that you enjoy something that they don't, but with me where to start series I've said it's always important that you read books that you you enjoy. At the end of the day, people who criticise you aren't going to be buying the books for you, so what does it matter? But my last comic pick is going to be a bit of a cop-out because I'm going to recommend pretty much every other Moon Knight run. Now, I haven't read every Moon Knight book that's ever existed, even though there aren't really that many, but there's stuff like Vengeance of Moon Knight and a few others like when Bemis took over from Lamia that I haven't read, but if they are the ones that would get you into Moon Knight and get you further invested in comics, then they are the books that you should start at. Because the interesting thing about Moon Knight, and this is something that I forgot to say when I was talking about Punisher, but near enough every new run is a great starting point for new readers. So I feel pretty confident in saying that you can pretty much start with any issue one that features Moon Knight. I know there's probably going to be one example that somebody in the comments has got to prove me wrong, but by that point I will have edited this video, uploaded it, and probably forgotten what I've said. But the last one that I'm going to put in this video, and it's more of a hope than a recommendation, but I've got the Disney Plus show, and I think that this could be a great introduction into the character that will then help you get into the comics. Or it might be the case that the TV show is awful and this is going to look really badly in a couple of months. But I wanted to include this on here just in case you do want to start with the Disney Plus show and you're wondering if you need to read any comics before. Touch wood, I do think you're going to be safe because of the fact that Disney knows that the wider world probably doesn't know who this character is. In which case, if you could do your boy a favour and share this video where you can so that we can get more people invested in this character. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, why did you get this far? But I guess that's the video and until next time, just make sure that you stay safe and stay mad all you dogs. Woof woof. See you at the next video.